Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything. The channel likes to try anything, so you don't have to. What we're going to take a look at today is a watch from Casio, which is the AW80. And this one has a module number of 2747 for people who are interested in that. Um, now there is instructions below, I'll kick the uh, video off. There is instructions below uh, for this particular watch, um, because this watch is a small watch that is very big on features from Casio. So. The instructions are below and if you want to see more watches and stuff like that from the we try anything channel then please click on the subscription button below also there is links to um, this watch below on amazon if it's something you're interested in so to kick things off let's have a look at the design of the actual watch or just to quickly talk about what's special about this watch now this watch um before you say anything, yes, I know the the analog part is different to the actual digital part. And the reason being, I'm going to show you how to adjust the hands on that in a minute. But um, just to kick things off, this watch here um, is an analog digital watch, which is from Casio. Um, it is a, it has, um, it's a tele-memo watch, which has 30 pages. And it is also a world time watch, which is also denoted by the map on the, on the dial window. Uh, sorry, on the dial. So it, it is a watch that has got a lot of features built into the actual digital part of the watch uh, with the analog just giving it that kind of classical look really. So in terms of looks, um, the actual watch, it is a, a fairly good looking watch. And to me, it is reminiscent of this bad boy here, which is the, um, it's kind of the fishing, um, fishing gear watch from Casio, which is the AW82, which I have reviewed on the channel. Um, and there should be a link just at the top there where my little fingers put my uh, four fingers pointing. So as you can see, it is quite reminiscent in that. And if anything, you know, you can see that the actual digital displays are quite the same size. Um, it's just the hands are different and obviously it has different functions. But I just thought I'd show you that it is the kind of same, same sort of layout as this type of watch. So... The actual watch, it is a resin case and it has a kind of a plastic resin dial window. Um, now, obviously, as all the watches I have kind of shown from the Casio brand recently, they are prone to scratches, as you can see here. Um, you know, it is a it is a watch that, you know, you're going to, again, look at it as a kind of a, a daily watch that, you know, it can kind of, as much as it's got all the features, it will it can replace something more expensive you know that you might want to use like this um apple watch here so if you you know you were going abroad with the time you know the world time feature then this watch will be quite a handy watch to wear um if you're a bit more worried about wearing an apple watch or any other watch that's quite expensive now from what i've seen on amazon this obviously this is around i, I i'm not i can't I can only hazard a guess i've seen it about 40 pound um but you probably can get it cheaper than that on ebay and stuff but i've popped a link below for amazon um now just to as i say this is a resin it's got a resin case with a resin dial or an acrylic dial window will scratch easy so please be aware of that the actual case diameter is a the case diameter is 40 millimeters um, so not a small watch by any stretch, you know, any stretch, but it is, you know, it's a, f a fairly sized watch. Case thickness, it is approximately 14 millimeters thick. So, you know, it's not a chunky watch that will stand out from your wrist, but, you know, it's not thin either. Now, it does have black, no, black resin bands, which is around the 22 mil millimeter width mark around approximately. But as I say, resin straps quite thick. Um, I'm it's about the same thickness as this one and, and i'll be honest with you, this one's quite a favorite of mine to wear when when i am charging this one so uh, it's got a nice resin strap to it so it's quite thick i'd imagine durable as as long as you look after it um plastic buckle so again you know it will get stretched scratched and it doesn't have the casio logo logo sorry emblazoned on there just where it's made which is in china um now this one as you see as you can see it is an analog digital display watch and the, it does feature a lot of functions now as well as the functions which i'll be talking about here it has got four pushes which are indicated here now the light one here i'm going to indicate with another kind of little clip where you can just press on it and you get like as you can see it's our led backlit and if you press on it, it's not one of them ones as soon as you take your finger off the button it will turn off you probably got about a two second delay on that so as you can see it does really kind of nicely um 
go around the actual diameter of the dial face here, which is quite a nice little touch here. You know, obviously the brightness going to dim, brightness going dim, nice touch. And again, it's the same as that watch here. Um, now, to go through, it does have a lot of specifications. It's got a 30 page tele memo for names and numbers. It's world time, which is around, has about 30 cities which you can kind of search through using this button. And you can kind of go through 29 time zones as well. It does feature daylight saving, which is quite handy. So you can just obviously press the daylight saving in the UK when we do go through, I think it's October and stuff when the clocks go forward and backward. Um, it does have a 24 hour countdown timer and it also has a 24 hour stopwatch. And also it features a, quite a few Casio's feature. It does feature an automatic calendar as well. So just quick look around the watch. I mean, obviously, as you can see, I've talked about the strap and the um, kind of the case and the, the dial window. And it also has the usual stainless steel back to it with the screws, which I'd imagine are easy, easy to change the batteries on if, if it's something that you kind of feel uh, confident in doing. Um, now, just to go through the actual functions of the watch, um, you can change on the front display if you wanted to change the actual to uh, sorry instead of seeing the time which is in timekeeping mode you can easily see the date and it's as easy as that you just press on it and then basically using the adjust button just just push it and you can see on the date so if it's something like you you wanted you like the analog part and you just want to keep the actual date just there just for quick reference it's really easy um also, I believe if you press that, you can change it between 24 hour and 12 hour with the 12 hour being denoted by the P 24 hour. Obviously, when it's off, it will go up to 1300 hours, 14, etc. And um, that's known as military time in the US as well. So I'll pop that back on uh, 20, 12 hour. Now, just to go through the modes, uh, you cycle through the modes using this button here, which is that one here, which is for telememo. And as you can see, it does have the kind of um, what modes you are um, very in kind of a, a short text as such or kind of in cap, um, capital letters as, as you were. So obviously I'm on world time here. Uh, you have the snooze or the alarm functions there. Uh, you've got the timer and you've got the stopwatch. And then what you go into is what's known as hand setting mode, which I'll talk about in a minute. And then it's back on timekeeping mode. So to kick things off let's look at the telly um so telly memo mode now obviously this telly memo mode it's all been cleared and stuff but you can if you keep your finger down on the adjust button you can kind of go up and down the characters which it features i believe it will feature um a eight characters um kind of text and then i think it's about 13 to 16 characters numerical so if you wanted to put your telephone numbers in there uh, again i know we've all got mobile phones and stuff which keep them but if you didn't have your mobile phone with you or you lost it or your battery went and you needed to phone someone either in a shop using a shop's phone or maybe like a pay phone then this function would be very handy so you know it's quite a nice function and you can you know obviously cycle through the buttons here there you go, so cycle through A and B, and then press that to forward on, um, stuff like that, so B7, I don't know, just, you know, I'm just making it all up, but obviously if you keep going forward, and then you get this sort um, kind of shortened uh, underscore, then you can start putting in, obviously, other characters like telephone numbers and stuff like that. So, you know, you, you can put a telephone number in there of about 13, 16 characters, and it can be, you know, very handy indeed if you lose your phone and stuff like that. So let's come out of this, and then let's go back to the timekeeping uh, mode. So that's the tele memo, very quick. I mean, as I say, there is instructions below in the comments section, which is, makes it easy for you to look at. Um, obviously, you've got, you can go between all sorts of, um, as it were, world time zones where the actual time zone change. So obviously New York City, um, not sure, Rio de Janeiro, and stuff like that really, and then London. Um, so, you know, you can kind of get an idea um, you know, if you were kind of doing your traveling and stuff like that, you can easily change your time zone just to get an idea of where you're at. Uh, or, you know, if you've got loved ones or business uh, contacts in another part of the world, then you can set that to see what kind of time zone you're in or they're in and then just make sure, you know, you can talk to them at an appropriate time for them. So back to timekeeping and then you've got your 
alarm so this one features i believe it features two alarms and it also also features a snooze alarm now i'm not going to go through the alarm settings and stuff like that but i know for a fact you can i think if i just press this that's how the alarm sounds so you know i haven't set the alarm i've turned it off and stuff but it does have two alarms that you can go through um Next one is the timer, so 24 hour, you can set it up and down. So as you can see, 23, 59 hours. And you know, it's it's quite a, a can be quite useful if you, you know, you again, you know, doing anything that's time. So if you're setting your, you know, heating, cooking stuff in the oven, you want to set it for 30 minutes, then you can by all means set it quite easily. And it will, you know, it'll beep obviously when the time's um, gone down to zero. And then stopwatch, again, set it off unfortunately the hands in the way but i'll be moving that in a sec and then if you can do uh split times and stuff like that and again it's as easy as that and then finally if i just get onto it you've got what's known as hand setting mode now hand setting mode is just for to adjust these here now unfortunately like it, it would be ideal that if you when you set the time then the actual analog would set with the time i mean it, it would make more sense but unfortunately in these kind of lower and uh, not, not lower range but i would say more budget range of watches um it's a it just doesn't support it so you know again it, each to their own really i mean you just kind of uh you know trial and error just trying to match the um analog with the digital but again some people might want to use it for other methods like getting different time zones and stuff like that set up. But it's very easy to set. So you just keep your finger on the adjust button here. Now what you then use is that, so you press that to advance it every 20 seconds, or as it's 1221, I will push that, keep my finger down on, uh, sorry, my thumb down on that. And that adjusts the actual time, um, the hand adjusts like that. So you get to 2021, done. And that's it that's it it's all set so it's quite easy to do it's not hard um you know it's just a case of just going through the instructions and then you'll work you'll work it out and that's it really that's the that's the kind of um functions in a very short nutshell i could speak for ages about what you can do with the telemomo and the alarms and stuff like that but you know there's plenty of instructions down below and there's also plenty of people online who've also talked about the instructions for this watch so if i just pop it back on timekeeping mode and then what i'll do is pop it on my wrist and then talk about what it's like to wear and there you go it's on the wrist and it is super comfortable and like like all all kind of casios that have these kind of resin bands you know that haven't got the notches and stuff like that you don't feel it pinching on your hand oh sorry on your wrist and it is it is quite as it been a like a lightweight watch at about uh what did i say it's not it's not a heavy watch by any you know any stretch it is it is a super comfortable watch to wear and it is easy on easy off so as you can see here you know it's quite easy to get the time and um, these do the loom does glow in the dark not brilliantly but it does glow to give you an indication obviously between the them times there the, the glow will happen on each of the digits on the dial and obviously not below because of the digital display but you, you do have that two, two two second delay in the actual um led backlight and it is a great little timepiece i mean it's the same kind of timepiece or the same kind of wear feeling as you get with this which is the again is the aw82 just have to remind myself there and it is a you know it is a comfortable watch and it is as comfortable again as i say the apple watch because you do feel that it's because it's a slightly heavier watch but in terms of how it looks on the wrist it looks really nice and it's got a, a very nice kind of i'd say quite rugged sort of look to it and especially when it's on the wrist you know it, it doesn't get in the way of anything and again in you know the the hand wrist fold test it doesn't kind of bang into your wrist there so it is a very nice watch to wear and and to own really i mean as i say i think it's I, i'm not sure if i mentioned that obviously it's got the 10 year battery life when it's brand new um it's water resistance to 50 meters as well which is great for if you're doing a spot of swimming or anything like that and you forget to take it off showers and stuff like that and the obligatory washing the car and gardening then this watch is good so would i buy one as you can see yes i have and i would and you know if you like your kind of analog digital watches you know, with a slight bit of rugged look to them and has a lot of features to it, which might be good for if you, you know, like if kind of frequently traveling around the world once we're all permitted to do so. And also, you know, it has all sorts of kind of information that you can store on there, which will make it very handy for, you know, if you lose your phone or if you lose any kind of information that you need to 
get straight away then you know it is quite a you know a handy watch with all manner of features on there and you know if you are in the kind of a market for one of these then i would say you know have a look have a look consider it and see what you think really because i would say it's well worth considering now just one other thing i've mentioned there is no second hand so you know if that if that does bother you then maybe steer away from that but you know other than that no great little watch to wear so well worth the well worth the money well worth the money so thank you for watching um i well, hope you liked the video and if you did then please give it a thumbs up it's always good for the channel and if you want to see more um watches coming from the we try anything channel when you know other kind of video reviews of you know tech cars and you know all forms of other kind of stuff that we want to feature on we try anything then please cl click on the subscription button below and thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time goodbye